Malaysia has been the most successful according to the index in the last five years to improve its position and they keep on improving every year for five years from 36 now they are number 19 what does it mean I mean to a lot of people it doesn't mean anything but to me this index use so many other indices and combine other raw data they're able to come up and compare from one to five five is useless yeah. huh? quarter all the time fight with them Malaysia is in front of Singapore yeah. number two in Asia number one Japan number two Malaysia yeah. and then in Islamic country number one Qatar number two Malaysia now it is something it is something very special and for me we in Malaysia are not happy all the time. We have also, but that is very normal. Yeah. Married couple always not very happy, but they see others very happy. So when we make comparison, apparently we are quite happy people. Yeah. By world standard, not by Malaysian standard. Malaysian standard, petrol naik satu sen pun mahal. Why? Pampered lah, sudah manja. Orang Malaysia sudah manja. So they are very unhappy about little little things. But generally, you ask them to quarrel, they don't want. Yeah. Uh, but everywhere else, they are willing to quarrel. They are willing. So violence is never an issue in Malaysia. That's why we ha there's a lot of tongue wagging in Malaysia, but never parang waving. Well, the most important thing in Malaysia is we have a social safety net set long time ago which means that the, we have been tested crisis after crisis economic crisis the people expect during economic crisis Malaysia to become a bloody country like fighting, everyone fighting yeah? but apparently they don't fight why? they can go to school they still get medical free petrol subsidized foodstuff subsidized so Malaysians may not get cash like in America, in New Zealand or somewhere in Australia but we get more than cash why? we don't have to take out the cash so in a way we are not paying in opportunity cost term every day we eat we don't pay half of what we eat is paid by the government so when I say this people say I belong to Barisan Nasional. I said, no. Even if opposition party, they need me to. Because I'm from the same university. Politician have life only five years. After that, they go. I already 30 years in UKM. So, any government can come and go, but I'll be here. So, I don't worry about people say, oh, I'm supporting government. It doesn't matter to me. Because I think, I want a peaceful Malaysia. I've seen in Europe, the Nazi hitting people in the in 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 daylight. Huh? They just hit people because they are not they are not white. In front of me in the railway station in Marburg, in the old East Germany, yeah. that doesn't happen in Malaysia. It doesn't. Not even at three a.m. in the night. You may be approached by other people, but not that kind of people, lah. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I think. We never appreciate ourselves. In Malaysia, people are so difficult to see nice things, you know. Because they all got toothache, you know. So they always got problem. Ah, toothache, here. Yeah. Why? Education, toothache. Scholarship, toothache. So in Malaysia is a generally suffering from all sorts of mental toothache. Lah. So that's why we always complain. But the rest of the world think we are fantastic people. The significant is, despite of 2008 election, despite of people think this is a tsunami, what it indicates is very simple. Malaysians are clever, mature, and know what they want. And they know what they don't want. What they don't want is 
violent later on. So, peace study, what is peace? Peace means absence of violence. That's how it's defined. So, a lot of Malaysians die in road accident violently, but it's not included in the GPI. So, we are violent too, but on the road. But not in a political sense, not quarreling with neighbors, yeah. uh, not crime sense, even though I think it's a crime. Lah. A traffic accident is also a crime. Kan? First, in terms of economic costs. Alright? If there is an ethnic riot, I cannot imagine how much it will cost the country. Probably 2 billion ringgit a day. So, the absence, what does it mean? We actually gain 2 billion ringgit a day without even yeah. doing anything. Number one. Number two, we don't have natu natural disasters. Can you imagine a country without natural disasters? No. I imagine Malaysia have no natural disaster. Yeah. I mean, they have flood, three people there, we all cry. Yeah. In Japan, 10,000 gone. In Sumatra, 140,000 gone. In Bangladesh, every year, 3,000 people gone. India, and then in Sri Lanka. In Malaysia, three people all cry. Come on. Lah. So, the absence of these things actually allow us more money, because we are not using that money to save people. We are not using that money to uh, repair road. What do we use that money? Uh, this is where a lot of leakage lah in the country. We waste so much money. Politically and all this, that's why people complain. So, that is the reason why this type of measurement is important for us to bring the realization that are very fortunate. And we have wisely know that we are fortunate. And, and the economic cost or the economic benefit is incredible. See, people talk about the price of war, you know. The cost of war, all the time. Malaysia should calculate the cost of peace. And we never did that. And that's why this Global Peace Index allows you to calculate the cost of peace. The absence of natural disaster, the absence of ethnic riot, we actually save probably 10 billion every year to 20 billion every year by saving. And that's why we can have subsidy. So that subsidy actually is what we save. I mean, from my imagination, what we save from no tsunami, no ethnic riot. So the government have wisely used that for subsidy. So if not, where do we get the subsidy money from? I believe it's from what we don't spend on conflict. And that's why this index is very important from my point of view. But the problem is, we talk about thinking outside the box, but we don't. I'm trying to think outside the box. That's how I try to think. I don't call it thinking outside the box. I'm trying to be very logical and commonsensical. Pragmatic. Uh, even less than pragmatic, common sense. Yeah. If you have tsunami, we don't have. Do we benefit? Yes. If they have ethnic rights in Sri Lanka, and in, in India, in Indonesia, we don't have. Do you think it's good for us? Yes. Because business goes as usual. And there's another factor why this peace continuously so. In Malaysia, we start working at 9 or 8 o'clock, we finish at 4 or 5. 8 hours every day we postpone our differences. Why? Because we want to buy a flat screen TV. We want to send our children to public school, private school. Uh, we want to buy another car, do house extension. We don't want to lose money. Plus, another two hours, one hour traffic jam, go home, and one hour traffic jam going to work. So, ten hours every day, we postpone. What, what kind of conflict you can have in a car with other ethnic group? The worst is you wear people's backside. Okay? But that is car accident. You got nothing to do with ethnicity. Okay? You come home. So, 24 hours, you know. 24 hours, 10 hours gone already. 
And then you have Malaysia, uh, American Idol, everyone wants to watch. TV program, drama, cerita hantu, and all this stuff. So at the end, Malaysians have no time to quarrel. Those who are interested, uh, after five, they go to MIC, and they go to AMNO. Uh, so that's why people who ended up in political parties, they have nothing else to do. But to grumble, and to complain, and to say bad things about other people. And they stir up this country because of that. Ah. Huh.